Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 11 of my full plan and walkthrough for Elden Ring. Right, in this one we are going back underground, we're going to Nokron, the Eternal City, uh, along with a few other places. We are, we know where, you know where we are, we're in Round Table Hold right now. Uh, and then we're going to teleport, so at the end of the last video I did say I was going to show you if you need some Smithing Stone 3. Uh, there's three here, which we will go and get now. And then there is this mine up here, so if you see this here, you make your way up to here. Uh, follow obviously just go through the river uh, heading north and you'll get into that way uh, it's one of those smithing mines there's loads of smithing stone three we're talking like eight something like that so if you do need them if you are you know up on that upgrade path as opposed to somber smithing stone as we are or hopefully you are uh, as i am should i say then uh, yeah you'll need some and um that's where they are uh, i do get enough i think i have one more than you will have at this point but there is one in Nokron that we'll be getting because uh, we do need to upgrade the sword so obviously watch out for lobsters in this area we have been here before it's where I, I ducked onto this bridge and to be honest that's probably why I forgot those smithing stones to <laughs> yeah when you get chased by those lobsters um, yeah <laughs> you just want to get the hell out of there so I'm actually riding over to the grace here just because I am instilled it aggroed enemies around so I can't teleport out but we're done here uh, we're going to go over to to Nokron which we kind of have to drop into so we have beat uh, Radan at the end of the last video which means all the stars started falling back to I'm saying earth but you know where we are <laughs> um, so if you just teleport to Fort Hate West here uh, in East Limgrave so we did come here before and it's uh, it's changed quite a lot let's just say that um, this big hole wasn't in the ground before. Now this is one of the most impressive, it's, it's probably quite easy to do, but to me this is one of the most impressive things in the game. We rode over here before, it was all grass and things like that. We come back now, a star has smashed into the ground and caused this, this crater, and yeah, I mean it's pretty impressive to behold to be honest. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to drop down, and that's going to take us into Nokron. Uh, at the same time here we're going to be doing some of the ending uh, the stars ending along with setting up a uh, a side boss which we've been doing for a while with uh, fear who was in uh, round table hold so we're sort of setting that up a bit more moving towards it uh, we will do the boss in the next video it's in the next area where we'll go to uh, the the missable boss let's put it that way so be careful jumping down here obviously stay on uh, uh, let's light things up a bit. Stay on torrent until you can't stay on torrent anymore. Whenever you see a blue, you probably know by now, but whenever you see a blue mark on the floor like that, it means you can't enter this area with torrent. And uh, yeah, just more dropping for now. I'm moving the camera because I'm looking for items as we go. There's all sorts. Most of it's kind of meh, like Golden Rune 5. I mean, it might come in handy. A <laughs> couple of thousand runes when we need them which I do at the end of this video actually, so yeah, I suppose it is handy. Soporific Grease, um, this is another weapon buff, never use any of the greases to be honest. And here we are, Nokron, Eternal City. Uh, so the, yeah, again, there's, there's lots of different places we're actually going to here, so it's Nokron, there's another separate area, there's uh, the aqueduct above Soifa River, Sayofa, whatever, however you pronounce it. Um, yeah, so we're going to do in a few different places, but they're all sort of linked together. So I've just titled it as Nokron. Uh, this, this jump, you don't need to do it. It's quite a dangerous jump. It's not a particularly easy one. Uh, but there is the Ghost Flame Torch, which is actually a weapon up here. So if you want to mess around with that, uh, you can do. Now the main enemy, or one of the main enemies of this area, is this thing I'm trying to lock onto. I can't yet because it's not moving, um, so I can't actually lock onto it. Uh, we want to kill them pretty quickly, especially later on. Still can't lock onto it. It's not moving. It's not woken up. There we go. Now you're woken up. They're easy to kill, but they do have uh, quite a a quick uh, attack, which you're going to see in a moment. This one's going to do it. Yeah, here. So you can see it's like an arrow. There, it comes flying towards you. It's quite easy to dodge. It is just like an arrow. You can just move to side to side. So you want to get rid of them pretty quickly. I thought something saw something in that corner. Nope, it was just a lantern. So there's a couple more down here as well. And a crystal lizard. 
I think we go for the crystal. I think this is just, yeah, it's one of the red ones, so you won't actually get anything from this if you don't need any crimson flasks. So, yeah, <laughs> don't be surprised if you don't get anything. We'll get rid of him from a distance. I think they actually take two. Yeah, well, the, actually the third one dropped away there. And these two are obviously not woken up yet, so I can't lock on, which is a bit annoying. Got saved then, look at that. That spike just stuck in that little bit of the roof there. You are okay here. These windows in this um, this building that's fallen over here, a bit deceptive. As you walk towards them, it looks like you can drop down, but you can't actually. You're safe to walk over them. There's plenty of this silver tear husk everywhere. It's a crafting material. Hey, it looks like you're going to fall through, but you're actually not. And if you've probably not guessed already or don't know what it is, we are going to get Mimic Tear in this video, which is one of the better summons. It's not the one I choose for the end game, but you may want to. So uh, we need to pick it up anyway because it is legendary, so we need it for a trophy. Uh, but we will be using it for a while, which means we start need to start upgrading our health because it actually uses health to summon it as opposed to FP. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> a bit different. But we're just uh, still falling at this point, really. Look, obviously don't do it from a distance. We're not actually in Nokron itself yet. Well, we are, but we're still making our way down. And then the other main enemy are these little things. <laughs> They're easy, two shots and downed. Some of them have bows, some of them are melee, because they always are that way. But you should, some of them have the torch, so you can see there they've got the torch, they use it. That one's got a bow, just normal bow attacks really. They do hit quite hard, but they're also extremely easy to dodge. <laughs> Not that that was a particularly good timing. Uh, there's also lots of ghost glove war in this area, uh, so we want to get loads of that. So collect it up. But well, we don't need loads of it, we need at least two of each. So we will have one and two, uh, plenty of that. But then there's plenty of three, four and five around here as well. I think there's even six. So whenever you see it, I do pick most of it up. Uh, so whenever you see it, pick it up. And uh, now we're going to go into a Nokron proper, I suppose. There we go, Nokron Eternal City. So the main in things in this area are these little imp dudes. Kind of, I suppose they're miners as well, or pickers. So here's a ball bearing, by the way. Uh, so that means you can purchase Ghost Glove War if you hand that into the uh, the Bell Maidens back in Roundtable Hold. Uh, those twins, you know, the the shop. Uh, you can purchase, I believe, one and two, which we do have plenty of anyway. But you can purchase um, Ghost Glove War one and two. I've actually just checked my notes. I'll come back. I, I, for a minute. <laughs> uh, it's actually three. It's one, two, and three. Um, so yeah, we can get that. We should have plenty of one, two, and three, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, if you need it. So we can level up as much as you like. Uh, it's infinite amount you can buy from them. Uh, any of the summons, the ashes that require ghost glove wart, you can now level up to three without worrying about running out. So there's a few things tucked around in this in the corners here. Somber smithing stone we obviously need. I don't know why I picked this silver tear husk up all the time. I'm never going to use it. There's one hiding in the bush here. It's so close to killing them with one shot. It's not even funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've just come around here for more, more, more of this. Because, like I said, I won't be using um, this ash, the mimic tier for the end game. Uh, I will be using a different one. So I'll give you the option. You can upgrade both. Uh, so that's why we're grabbing loads of Ghost Glove Wart. Which you can play around with them. Use whichever one you want. You don't need to use which ones I'm using. Oh, plenty of larval tiers in this area as well. So if you want to respec, you're going to be able to do it lots of times. There's a couple here guarding this door. Not very well, obviously. Oh, these ones aren't even guarding. They just stood there. He's not got any health left. Come on. <laughs> One intelligence will probably do it.
got the great shield soldier ashes here could be quite good i haven't used this one could be quite good maybe not as a deterrent uh, not really a distraction should i say because they do have great shields uh, there is a little trick you can actually do with mimic tier as well um we may try and set that up uh, but like i said i'm not using mimic tier at the end but i, I suppose I will, i'll sort of go through it when we start using mimic tier uh, mimic tier is as it says mimic it mimics you so it's a summon the same as you which is you know pretty good it's been nerfed it was really powerful when i first played this game it could heal it can't heal anymore um just once like a normal npc but um yeah you can equip it with things and whatever it has uh, whenever you summon it whatever you have equipped it has so if you have say a great shield on then you um it comes in with a great shield and then you can quickly unequip the great shield so you can move around freely again and uh, the mimic here will still have this great shield and will just use it the whole time and block damage you know it's <laughs> so you can kind of mess around with what you give the mimic here while you summon it and um yeah it's it's not a bad idea there's actually a, a talisman that means that you get all the aggro uh, I forget the name of it. We will. I will look it up, and we'll we'll mess around with the the setup. I I haven't done it myself much, uh, but yeah, there's. Uh, I did see. I think it was. Um, it's completely forgotten. He's forgotten his name. Of course, I have. Uh, Vati Vidya, of course. It was a video of his. Uh, he mentioned it, so we, we might try and mess around with it. But uh, I don't use it myself. Use it for a bit. Anyway, bit of a detour, just kind of wandering down here, there's another lava tier, there's a few enemies here, the usual stuff. Uh, we're just making our way towards Mimic tier, the boss fight. Now we don't get it here, we actually need to pick it up later on, but we are going to see what it's like to fight ourselves, which is pretty easy to be honest. This is actually probably my longest Mimic tier fight, uh, because the, the Ash doesn't get the attention right away, which is a bit of a shame. Probably should have summoned it a bit later. But it's in the middle waiting for us. Uh, and we do get a trophy for this one. All three. We do three boss fights in this video and all three of them are trophies. Trying to lock on there and it was having none of it. And again. So yeah, it's an exact copy of what we have. Spells and all. Uh, it does actually it does uh, use um, ambush shard here, which I thought was quite good. <laughs> uh, they do get the one heal because it is an NPC kind of fight. Uh, they do have one heal. Nope, you haven't got any left. So if you wanted to make this get this fight easier, you could remove everything you're wearing. Uh, not that it's difficult. Um, you know, remove all your weapons as it's sort of spawning in, and then. Put them all back on quickly. You'd have to be really quick to do it. But you know, it would mimic what you were. So if it doesn't have any weapons, it's running around trying to punch you. It's not going to work. I wonder if that would work, interestingly. I wonder if that would work. Maybe it takes the copy as you go through the fog. Who knows? Anyway, it's down. It's easy enough anyway without doing all the messing around. Grace point. I have had trouble with that grace point in the past where you can't light it. If you ever have that problem, by the way, just quit out the game exactly where you are stood uh, and then come back in and you will be able to uh, touch the grace point. It does happen occasionally. Right, we are nowhere n near done with this area. That's just a kind of mid fight. Uh, and then we're going back across to. Well, this is an aqueduct, isn't it, really? Uh, back across the way to Sayofa River, kind of thing. Summer Smithing Stone 5, see if. See off for yep that river place that we were in. We're going to be on the really high tier of it now. Golden Room Four. We can use uh, torrent in this area, so use it if you want to. Uh, you will also get the swirls, the blue and red swirls from enemies because we are out in the open. There's nothing up here, so don't worry about it. And we're going to drop straight down here. So you you will recognise these enemies. We have fought them before, uh, but they're not blue anymore. These are the proper ones. I was hoping for a one shot. There's so many deers. I keep locking onto them. Or oh, deers? That's not right. Is it deer? But 
impossible to fly there. Probably never use it. So we are doing the whole boss altar thing. Exactly the same boss fight as before, pretty much. You know, the big elk thing. Uh, there's only six this time. So we're doing all this. It's a quite a small area. I'll just show you where we are. Uh, so I will try and bring them up. But this is it. It's just this green bit here that you see. Uh, that's the whole area that we're in. I'm going to stick to the left-hand side here and make our way around the back. Because there are some enemies on the road. I'm going to try and get the drop on them. Uh, plus we haven't had a, a grace yet, so I'm just going to go and get that. And it's up here, which is uh, another area. <laughs> yet and I told you there's quite a few we're going to. Uh, so we'll go down there later on. But we're going to go and do this area first. So you have these ones that are sort of singing. Uh, this is probably the toughest one. Maybe because he has the aura around him, I don't know. Usually they're not that tough. You may get, obviously, you get, that's a random drop. And then this is boss altar number two. Yeah, there are a couple down there. They have seen me, so they will come up. And another. Where are you? There you are. Still using the first spell of the game. <laughs> I just kind of love the spell. I don't know why. It's it's all reliable. I am sure you have that sort of thing in these these games. You know, just something you want to stick with. <laughs> and for me, it's uh, Pebble, the first game in the st in uh, first spell in the game. Pick a few bits up. We've got fireproof dried liver, gold tinged excrement, because of course a ghost glove or four, and a uh, golden rune four. Right, now, this fight, I did die here at this point. I hate this fight. Um, it's not a boss fight, but it kind of is, because we have fought it as a boss before. Uh, remember the Red Wolf? Uh, we're going to fight that again. There he is in the distance. You could probably avoid him if you wanted to. I'm pretty sure you could avoid him if you really wanted to. If you're struggling with him, just avoid him. Follow his path in and uh, obviously don't go near him. But he does get onto you pretty quickly. No summon here, no ash available here. Uh, so I have used the bubble, my uh, wondrous physic, because it, I, I want to be able to take a hit of damage. There it is, because he hit, he hits hard, and he, he comes up to you straight away, and he just stays on you the whole time. And of course, he will do the spells. Here we go. We've got the spells happening, and he just he's constant. Uh, he's on you there. He's got the spells. Try and hide behind rock if you can. Lucky I did because he did that. Will one shot you more than likely. Come on, stop moving around. <laughs> I should probably use, be using a quicker spell. There we go. Yeah, if you are really struggling with him, it's not a boss or anything. He doesn't drop anything we need. He doesn't particularly give you a decent amount of runes or anything either. Uh, just kind of flank it. And um, yeah, come and... Try and get here, Smithing Stone 4, if you can, on this body. The main thing we want to do is get around the back of the big... I think it's a tree behind me, isn't it? Yeah. Is it a tree? What is it? Is that a tree? No, it's a rock. <laughs> anyway, that's what we want to do, is get behind that. So yeah, there's a Smithing Stone 4 I just picked up. So if you can, get that and uh, get the... The lamp behind the back, because that's all we actually need. Here's my uh, runes from earlier. I decided to take him out, out on out in the open, and that's not a good idea. Uh, you want to come and try and grab this, obviously, as well. If you don't have one, a Samba Smithing Stone Five. This you don't need to bother with. But this is what we're here for: the boss altar. Uh, three of six. So if you can sneak around and light this without being seen. Good. These are just the blue and red ones to fill up. I think I need... What do I need? Some blue one? Is that why I'm doing this? Yeah, I do. So this is where we are. We're just running around the north end now. Looking for... I thought I saw an item there. That's what that was. 
It's got two more singers and lots of rats around them. It's hard to get lost in this area, to be honest. It's, it looks quite big, but it's actually very small. Lots of rats around here. I think there's five in front, and then there's you can see the altar in the back there. There's two around the altar as well. Check them for things. They don't ever have anything good, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, there's an Ash of War here. Uh, enchanted shot. If you're into the whole uh, Ash of War thing. There's, there they are. And then boss altar number four. And this is where we are, at the north point. So you can see it is quite small. It really is quite small, this place. And now we're just going to drop down here. The main reason, really, is for the Ghost Glove Walk 5. Honestly, to just drop down, you'll have to do a running jump, maybe use torrent, but you can make it by running and jumping. And we'll drop down. There is a tool up here which we're going to get. It's not, it uses magic, it does, uh, it's sort of a mist attack. I'll show you when we get there. So, yeah, the Ghost Glove Vault 5 is the main reason we came down here, really. And I give you the option with this tool if you want it. So you need to be careful here. Obviously, if you fall in the water, you're going to die. Uh, there are two gaps as you run across here. Be aware of that. There's one there. And then there's one right at the end. I think there's a gap right at the end. It, as I was watching back... Yeah, there is, right? As I was watching back there, it didn't actually look like there was. Uh, yep, normal enemy singing guy. Easy. Just a couple of rock throws will take him down. And then you get the Ancestral Infant's Head, which is a tool. It's uh, an item you can use over and over again. It uses FP to do kind of a, a mist attack. You know the Ancestral Spirit, the one we're going to fight, the deer thing? It's that kind of thing that it does, the attack. Uh, it uses FP to do that. And then we'll uh, just make our way back. You can use torrent here. Loads of the butterflies if you want those. The nascent, but nascent butterflies. Nascent. Here's a weird... Is it this one? Yeah, this one here. Why can't I jump up there? I've never had this problem before. That's really odd. It's the same height as I just... I can't understand why I, don't, I can't jump up there. Uh, if that does happen, it's, I've definitely never had to do this before. Uh, obviously, you get Torrent and uh, jump around using him. Be careful, though. And then safety. You could pro Maybe you could try jumping over with Torrent across the wall there. I've never actually tried that. It might be too, just low enough for you to get over. But yeah, there is, obviously, there's ground under, underneath me now. And then uh, we're back up here again. Don't need you. So we're going to head to the, well, it's the sort of northern wall. Can't go any further than this. Then we're going to head east from there. When you get to these ruins, just get off again. There is an archer on the top here, so that's why we've come this way round, so we don't get the archer shooting us from above. Here he is. Easy. So there's a load of jellyfish over there. This is where we are now. And the jellyfish are all in this area. Just take note of where that is. Uh, we'll come back there later on. Another singing guy, and now we get the drop on them, which is always nice. Kind of cool that the deer are what, this sort of bowing, and uh, it's obviously their god, their spirit. Keep locking onto them by accident, though.
I think this one that I just killed always drops it. I haven't marked it in the top corner, but I think he always does drop the what I'm about to pick up. Uh, so here's number five, by the way, boss altar number five. That's why we're here. Uh, he has dropped this sort of shining horned headband. I, I did get it in my research run as well, so there's potential that he does always uh, get it. Ghost glove walk that I just picked up as well. Make sure you grab that. And I'll just show you where the mottled necklace plus one talisman is in case you want to increase your useless stats. <laughs> it's the ones that we don't use, uh, the stats. It's, I think it's immunity, focus, and robustness, something like that. Three stats you'd never really pay much attention to. Uh, you could always just put a better talisman on, uh, but just in case, maybe you want your immune to be better because you've got to cross a poison swamp or something. I don't know. But there's a, the Mothal Necklace plus one, which is up at the top here. So we're above the actual boss fight now. So if you want that, there you go. And now we'll go and get the uh, the sixth boss altar, the final one, and then uh, move on to the boss. And that's this little bit of the area done. Then we've got two other places we've got to go yet. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, areas in this video, really. Uh, but they're all kind of an umbrella I'm just putting them under knock wrong because we haven't really moved. So there's quite a few of these guys around here. They're all hiding everywhere in the woods and uh, behind trees and things like that. So do watch out. Try and get them from a distance if you can. There's one coming up the stairs. There's two at the bottom of the stairs. Can't reach him from here. Uh, so we have uh, again. We've come full circle at this point. We're at the starting where we came down the slope on the big bridge. That's where we're going to be in a minute. There's another one here. I'm pretty sure of it. There's an item there as well. I don't think I picked that up. It's all just off to the right. Probably nothing important. Might be uh, a smithing stone though. Do I pick it up? Why did I? How did I not see that? Uh, <laughs> anyway, it's not anything important. Hopefully, uh, yeah. Just grab it. Let me know. Yeah, there's, uh, there are actually a couple more enemies off to the left, but they're down uh, in a little embankment, so they won't aggro. And then this is number six. So that's where we drop down off there. I will just show you where we are. We've come full circle. This is where we started. We went all the way around and got all six. And now we're going to do the, the boss, the Regal Ancestor Spirit. Exactly the same as the previous time we fought this guy. Um, very easy. You don't really have to move if you uh, start soon enough. Just ca start casting Rock Sling and that'll be it. And there is a trophy for this, so that's why we're doing it. Obviously, because that's what we're here for. You do get remembrance from all these people, these things. If you, the remembrances, we don't need uh, any of them for anything. So you can you trade them in for the weapons or spells or whatever they give off. off remember back at um, Round Table Hold, uh, you, you got the old crone there. You can trade them in if you want to, or you can crack them for runes. Uh, I'll probably save them for runes later on. That's what I'll be doing. You can actually duplicate them and get even more. I mean, this thing, yeah, I think it does actually get close to me here, but it's just going to do this. This is the attack you get. Kind of missed attack. And then, yeah, it's dead. Simple enough. That's another trophy in the bag. Another boss fight, and then 24,000 runes. That's always handy as well. And again, the hardest part of farts. The hardest part. <laughs> uh, it's like Dark Souls 3 again. Um, the hardest part is. Um, finding how to get the hell out and it's over here I guess they expect you to move around more during this fight and there we go back exactly where we left off uh, we'll drop down the ruins on the left hand side just so we don't really have to bother because all the enemies will be back you can make it I'm trying to find look over this edge without the horse jumping off you can do it 
he was on me, wasn't he? And then you get some cookeries there, which we'll never use. You did see that there was two. Uh, that's because one of them went back to my uh, inventory, my stash box, because my inventory is full, should I say. And then we're going to just drop down here and get a couple of smithing stone fives. And that's what, what all, all we're doing. And then we'll walk back up and go to the other place. <laughs> doing quite a lot in this one. You can ride torrent here if you're feeling confident. I'm going to drop down, do some more dropping. There is a little wall here. Maybe get on torrent. You obviously got that extra fall damage. If you do hit the wall like that, uh, it did just enough to, to reduce the damage from the fall there. And drop down the right and then look for the pillar and drop down again. There's another plus one charm down here. Another pretty useless one, I would, I'd say, really. Clarifying horn, plus one. Horn, plus one. We already have the regular one. It's the one that helps against sleep um, and madness or something like that. Yeah, we're never going to use it. Smithing stone two, kind of useless at this point as well. Uh, but there is a five just around here. So you may recognize where we are now. You should do. Uh, that's where we fought a boss earlier on. We're above the above part of Siofa, Cypher, so whatever river. Um, yeah, we're just grabbing this stone, then we're going to walk back. Some uh, eagles. I th just thought I've never actually checked in this corner. Oh, it felt like I've never checked. It felt like there was definitely going to be an item, but there wasn't. Yeah, I keep checking. It is one of the, it's actually the final one. Nope. And this one. So we should be able to, once we get enough threes, which you should have, we do pick up another three, but I did get a random drop in the last video, so I am aware of that. But after this, I pick this extra one up. Go back to Ancestral Woods, by the way. Um, that's where we're going to. We'll be able to level up straight through fours and move on to fives. So now we're doing a jump down to this other area. This... I like because it feels like Bloodborne. <laughs> Honestly, uh, it, this area is too short. Night Sacred ga Ground. Uh, and the main thing we're coming here for is the Mimic Tier Ashes and the Blade, which we need to give to Rani. So it's part of her ending. Yeah, these are these are tiers that will actually change to NPCs. They they do shoot arrows, which is what's hitting me now. I wasn't moving out of the way, or crossbows, and maybe even. Uh, so I'm going to get them from here, from up here, rather than go down because there is a rune arc behind me. I was hoping I was quick enough to get the kill. If you do manage to kill the blob before it changes, then uh, it won't change. But I wasn't quick enough there, so this one's going to change. And it's uh, it's going to hide this one. I think one, this one's a a melee one because it's trying to get towards me, but it can't. Yeah, that's what I need you. Get out in the open, right? Rune arc up here. The first one will definitely shoot you as you come up here. Obviously, be careful. This was a, I should have run and jumped to there. That was a, that was a bit close. Lots of these silver, silver tear husks here, the material that we'll never use. Golden rune. I'm sure we'll use that at some point. We'll go around here, and then we're going to go across uh, like a broken archway into the window. Uh, we're going to get the black wet blade. That's going to allow you to add ashes. Um, it's going to allow you to have blood. Uh, poison and I think it's affinity that makes sense with the black one affinity um, on your weapon similar to the ones with wet blades we've had all the way through crystal lizard here this is uh, nothing it's just a red one now I'm sure you have plenty hopefully you have plenty of stone sword keys we haven't used any we should I don't know how many we have probably Getting close to 10, I would imagine. Uh, but we're going to use one there. 
I'm going to kill this guy here. It's easy enough. He's not going to really move around much. If he does start dodging around, then use uh, Ambush Shard. You may get the crown, who knows, but what we're, here, we're really here for is the Mimic Tear Ashes. These are legendary. We need them for the trophy more than anything, but we uh, will start using them once we've upgraded the health a bit more. Smithing Stone 3 there, just the one. You, you, you should have enough to get all the way through 3s at this point. We do get the kill on this one, thankfully, so don't have to bother with him. Now I'm going to do a big jump. And up through this window. Uh, just to get this Nox flowing hammer. It's a weapon, it, maybe you'll use it, maybe you won't, probably you won't. But we also get the drop on and a few enemies up here as well. So you got the... Uh, the ball is an enemy. If you drop down, this thing's just going to come rolling towards you, and it doesn't roll like a normal ball. It's quick, and it changes direction as well. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a trap, basically. Uh, it's not the last time we'll be seeing those, unfortunately. They do hurt. So these guys, looks like these guys are actually using sleep. Uh, I've never actually see, uh, seen them use anything. You usually kill them before that. So there's another enemy that uses sleep. Get his attention, or her. I think it is actually her. And then we'll drop down and carry on. So the ball that I just killed, um, destroyed, that is going to drop a lava tier as well. Uh, I will just. I did we pick? Yeah, we have already picked up a celestial dew, and I didn't, didn't uh, mention it at the time. Uh, what they do is that you need them to ask for forgiveness. So we're going to go to a place called Church of Vows later on, um, and th that's kind of the forgiveness place. There's always one in the Souls games where you can, if you accidentally hit an NPC, you can go do the whole forgiveness thing, and um, the NPC won't be angry anymore. That's what Celestial Dew is for. You'll need that if you want to go and ask for forgiveness. So, uh, yeah, we'll go to Church of Vows pretty soon, really. Maybe even the next video, I might use it as a shortcut. Yeah, I think we will. There, there, Celestial Dew. You'll need that. Right, so we've got lots of blobs here. Uh, the one at the back that's just not really doing anything. Uh, that's not a regular blob, of course. Uh, now, I, I bring this on. I have no reason to do this. I don't know why. It's just kind of a habit at this point. Um, maybe to remind you as well, hopefully. I was trying to kill it, but, but the the um, the third one is... I'm just not close enough. Maybe if you go to the archway, you'll be close enough. And you'll kill it before it transforms. But if it does transform, it's going to be one of the troll giants. Simple enough. Honestly, you'll just knock it down before it even gets to you. And you'll be able to finish it off. But uh, yeah, if you just stand under the archway, you'll probably be close enough that you don't get the drop off on the third uh, rock on the left hand side. And then we'll uh, clear up. Soft cotton. Great. <laughs> but what we're here for is the Finger Slayer Blade, which is going to move things on. It's going to allow Ranit. She will give us a clock thing uh, when we show the Finger Slayer Blade, and that's what we're here for. Great Ghost Glovewort is also in here, so this is they're both legendary. Okay, uh, so that's the top Ghost Glovewort for upgrading um, Spirit Ashes. So we can fully upgrade it once we get enough of the regular ones. We can fully upgrade it, which is nice. And then we're going to use the Teleport and we're back up in the woods again. And now we're going to go to the final area that we're going to do in this video. It's been a long one. It felt like a long one anyway. Um, something too bad. Uh, yeah, so we're going to ride past. This is we've been through here, and then you remember I said take note of where the jellyfish are. That's where we're heading uh, to where all the jellyfish are, and we're going to drop down the other side. So obviously, just use them as um, a torch. Nope, don't go that way. You need to go up there. There you go. And then we're going to fall off the end here, and there's going to be a stone soul key. So this is where we am. Just come all the way, sort of northeast from the uh, the grace. 
stands for key. And uh, this area is the aqueduct. This is going to lead us off to another area that we're going to do in the next video, which is where the hidden secret missable boss is. That is Fia. You remember Fia, the, uh, the bed maiden. That's going to be her whole thing wrapped up. Right, so there is a crucible knight down here. Uh, we're going to see him in a moment. I'm just going to refresh so I've got all my stuff that I need. So Crucible Knight we fought at the end of the last video. He was the second enemy in that last boss fight we did. Uh, unfortunately he's walking away. So this this is going to take a while. I I was thinking I'd just cut. But you, you kind of... There's no point in me doing it. You do need to see what I'm doing. Obviously I, could, I would have cut and showed you the start. But uh, yeah, so we can kill him from up here. It's, it's a bit of a pain but it's... It's risk free. He does have a huge shield, so just casting at him is not going to do anything really, uh, especially with Rock Sling, which is the only thing will reach him from where he is. So you can hit him with one. I throw a second just in case it gets through. It won't. A little, little bit. But the main thing he's going to do is going to run around here and he's going to poke his head out of this window, which means you can hit him with Ambush Shard a couple of times. You may need to be a bit closer. If it's not working, just step a bit closer off the rocks. Uh, and then he'll keep going backwards. So he'll come to this doorway. And then he'll sort of aggro again. So you can hit him a few times with Ambush Shard again. And then he'll go back and forth between these two. And sometimes he'll, you'll get... Yeah, see, Ambush Shard didn't hit then. Uh, sometimes if you're really lucky as well, he will completely de-aggro and start walking off to the right again. Yeah, I'm not getting any luck here. He's not he's not playing ball, is he? Got one in there. No, completely missing now because he's walking. He's not even walking that quickly. Because of the angle he's at. Right, come on. There's one. There's another. And I'm out. Should have topped up. What are you doing? Yeah, this is definitely easier than, as, as stupid as this looks and how, yeah, it's definitely easier than fighting him one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you can avoid him altogether, but there is another one afterwards that we do definitely want to kill and we don't want this guy sneaking up on us. He is a one-off, so once you kill him once, he's gone forever. There, finally. Uh, and you'll also get the Crucible Horned Shield weapon, if that's something you want. There you go. I'm just going to run back to the Grace, uh, sit down and get all my uh, Cerulean Flasks back. And then we'll uh, we'll carry on and fight the other one. And the other one's going to drop a somber smithing stone six, so that's why we're killing him. And then we're going to make our way to a boss. Uh, we're going to get in a coffin eventually at the beginning of the next video. I'm not going to do it in this one. I'm going to go and get another item before we do that, and uh, show Rani the dagger we just got. which will lead to another place and another place and then we'll come back here <laughs> missionary's cookbook if you need that right so there is another one here this one doesn't have a shield uh, there is not an item here but he's up there you can just see him so if you cast um, from here you can hit him with one, maybe two, send up another one up to follow him and then start backing away it, the lock off will obviously drop off, top up so you've got, you got your full FP because he, he does hit hard and then just keep casting, as soon as he comes into view and you can lock on him just keep going, you'll stagger him, it'll only be for a second though he gets up straight away and then just keep going, keep going and then that should be enough to, uh, to drop him and you'll get a Somber Smithing Stone 6, which is definitely nice. Nothing in these corners. There are the little guys are back. He was straight out there. How did he know I was there? There's a Smithing Stone 5 if you want that, next to where the, he was stood.
Check your corners. There he is. I knew there was another one. Did you hear that bang? I haven't cut it out. <laughs> Next door's just dropped something in the house. I wonder if you heard it. Uh, yeah, let me know if you did. <laughs> uh, order healing incantation in here. Uh, so if you kill the crystal lizard, I'm just going to call it crystal lizard. So incant incantation. So you'll need the seal to, to cast that. We will be picking up the incantation again at the beginning of the next video that we will use as well. Uh, we don't need it yet, but we will get it on the way uh, to somewhere else. Rune 7. I knew there was a, uh, an item out poking my head out of one of those archways. And then we'll, uh, we'll come down here. Now, if you haven't... Uh, done kept, moved Fia's storyline forward. You know, she, we uh, gave D that dagger, uh, and then he was dead, and then she disappeared. You know, the bed chamber, the bed maiden. Um, if you haven't done that for whatever reason, you need to go and do that uh, now because it's going to help with the next fight that's coming up. Plus, it's part of the whole thing that we're doing in the next video. Uh, we need, you know, she's part of the missable side quest, side boss, so. Uh, you want to do, go and do that, make sure that's done. Smithing Stone 4. So I came in here and killed these first because they will follow you into this room. Got the rune arc here, and then we're going to go and do the boss. Uh, so we're going to get to the inner order gesture. Uh, we're going to give away the twin armor that we got from D. Remember, we, we picked that up. Uh, so you're going to get, get the option to give the armor to this person here. Do that. Give them the twin armor set. Uh, you'll get the inner order gesture. Actually, you'll get the inner order gesture. Not that we need it. Um, regardless whether you give them the armor or not. So give them that. Now, I'm actually going to do a little fade here. I did uh, just wander into this place without doing what I just did the whole thing there for, um, which was give the armor in so you can summon D for this fight. Uh, so I was looking at Mimic Tear. I thought, can we use it yet? Yeah, I don't think my HP is right. I thought, oh, it's fine. We don't need Mimic Tear just yet. Uh, yeah, so I just I, I killed myself uh, and then came out of the fight again. Yeah, because I walked straight past this, so make sure you don't. Uh, you can bring D in to fight with the Valiant Gargoyle boss, which can be quite tough, to be honest. Uh, so the boss, the, the Gargoyles, will have more health, so if you're still struggling with D, maybe do them solo with your, your Spirit Ash instead. Uh, but you need to, there's two of them, unfortunately. If there was just one, this would be a lot easier. easier. But um, there's two, and they hit really, really hard. So again, if you are struggling, you can remove the, the Scar or Saw Seals that you've got equipped if you've got those. But they do have a tendency to one hit. This thing that he's about to do there, uh, he'll hold his sword up in the air, or his axe, whatever it is, and slam it down onto the ground. A big line of kind of wind will come flying towards you. Um, that will one-shot you. Obviously, you can just dodge left or right quite easily to, to remove. What the hell was that? <laughs> Yeah, he, he will just keep coming at you. So we've got two. That's the whole point of the, the summons and the ashes is to distract. And they're just not doing it. So yeah, once you're at half health, the second one is going to drop in. That's when you need to quickly kill the first one. Get him out of the way before the, the second one gets towards you. Because you do not want two of these guys after you. No, we're so close. The other one's patiently waiting. which is not, That's the attack. Easily dodged though, it's nice and slow. And then the twin blade one is it's pretty much the same. You just don't want to be near it. It has an axe in a twin blade, this one. Let uh, D take most of the the damage, that's why he's here. And just yeah, casually just cast away in the distance. Without a care in the world. Unless the gargoyle locks onto you, which I think it does in a moment. Does it do that? Yes, it does. So yeah, I just yeah, that was lucky. <laughs> you completely missed. But anyway, uh, they're not too bad if you have D with you, and you're going to get the trophy valiant gargoyle and get the gargoyles, uh, the sword and the twin blade. If that's any interest of uh, to you, not to me, maybe to you. Sound like the chuckle brothers. Um, 
yeah and that's it for this area we are going to move to another area from here but not yet we will be back to do that in the beginning of the next video we just need to go and get something first which will sort that out that coffin over there we get in it but not yet so i'm just going to teleport back to round table hold we can now do some upgrades so we will do that uh, if you do ever need to upgrade uh, sorry if you ever need to teleport underground click r3 it does say it in the bottom i don't think i've mentioned it so we, if you go to the smith you should have plenty of it's going to be quite expensive doing this especially especially got there in the end the ashes are quite expensive to upgrade so you should be able to do whatever the sword or whatever you're using quite a lot smithing stone 4 you should be able to blast throw through those into smithing stone 5 so it's at plus 15 now and then you should be able to do the carry and regal scepter as well uh, it's not worth it until we get seven, so we're still going to leave off at this point. We will get seven quite soon, though. And then we're going to do spirit tuning. Now, the way I'm upgrading this is I'm going to go to ghost, so it's here. I'm going to do mimic tier for now. Uh, make sure the bracketed number above mimic tier there is not the same as the one that isn't. So you want to have more. Uh, so I've got two there. I'm okay to go up one more. I don't have any more here. Because I want to fully upgrade the next uh, ash that we get. So I don't want to burn through them all here. So if you only have one bracketed one. Maybe don't do it and save it for the next one. Because it is a, I think it's better personally. Uh, yeah don't use them all up. Uh, but yeah if you maybe when, once you've tried the other one. Uh, and maybe you don't like it. But he is definitely better at avoiding attacks. So that's why I like to use him. Mimic tier was better. It's just not as good anymore I don't think. Uh, yes, I'm just cracking a few runes here. I'm just going to try and level up a bit. I'm just going to try to get... What do I need? Like 25,000 or something. Uh, yeah, I, I do this so often. Where you use... I, I do use instead of use selected number. I needed three, not one. There. I'm just going to put this into health so we can start using Mimic here. Uh, hopefully we'll start doing that in the next video. It is better than the current summon we have at least. Right, yep, put it in vigour. Uh, moving on. Right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.